That completes another full app you can go ahead and start modifying or expanding on in your own time. But also being the briefest possible introduction to Core Image, while also showing off UI slider for the first time, and even writing images to the iOS photo album. Now, unless you do really intend to make yet another Core Image filters program, in which case best of luck, your use of Core Image will mostly be about manipulating a picture in a very specific way. Use a filter you've handcrafted to look great. If you want to try other filters, search on Google for Core Image Filter Reference and have a read. It lists the input keys for each of them so you can get really fine-grained control over the filters. And remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you can put your newfound knowledge to use straight away to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, try making the save button show an error message if there was no image loaded in the image view. Second, try making the change filter button change its title to show the name of the currently selected filter. And third, to try something bigger, experiment with having more than one slider to control each of the input keys you care about. For example, you might have one for radius and one for intensity.